What's up, guys? I'm JC. This is TNJ Make Them Burst. And if you're infatuated with Beyblades, in other words, if you're passionate about Beyblades, you love the sport, you love unboxings, then you're in the right place. If not, that just means you are a Beyblade community troll. And guess what? You're not welcome here. Let's go. So guys, so guys, what I have in my hands is, as you can see, is Beyblade Burst, Quad Drive, Dual Pack, Destruction, Eiffel I7, Stone Nemesis, N7. This is a four-in-one system, Quad Drive, Quad Drive, Quad Drive. It's a four-in-one system. I'm not gonna go over everything on the back of the box, but I will point out two things and that's the modes. So you have Core Plus, and you have Apex Plus, and you have regular Core and regular Apex. I think you guys seen everything on the back of the box. Let's go. Let's get these guys out the box. Let's get them out the box. All right, so as you can see, Hasbro has a new way of packaging, I believe this began with the new pro series what wave four and wave four we discovered the new way of packaging for hasbro so we have performance tips we have forged this and let's get the base out now guys i'm going to point out these instructions for a reason when i opened up my first quad drive dual pack the assembly was very difficult, very difficult. So when you guys purchase these and choose to unbox them and open them up and play with them, read the instructions, use the instructions. All right. I think you're saying it all. I believe this is Destruction Eifred Tour, and it looks pretty dope, pretty cool. I like it. I like the face on the um, chip. I love it. I really do. And as you can see, the gravity ring is six. The gravity ring is six. Or oh, must I point out the Hasbro terminology for it. So the gravity ring is GO6. GO6, Destruction Eiffel. I like it. And I believe destruction comes with Nexus for the forge disc. And it has kick and assault. So assault is the performance tip and the tip armor is kick. The armor tip first, 3.51 grams. We're gonna go with uh, performance tip. 5.61 grams, looking good. Should I take the gravity ring off? Now that I know how to do it, it's easy. Gravity ring, 1.61. The drive chip, 4.62 grams and the blade 5.2526 you get the picture nexus 24.34 now let's go with the performance tip and the armor tip 9.08 grams let's go with the whole day 44.90 grams once again I love the chip design and I like the colors it's not bad and let's do my favorite thing and that's check the slopes and I will say destruction Eiffel or the Eiffel chip slopes isn't bad. 
with the stock performance tip. All right, so I'm kind of excited about that. I'm happy about that. Now let's get Stone Nemesis out the tissue paper. All right, Stone Nemesis. I'm gonna hide that for later. Let's check them out. I like the colors. I definitely do. I don't know which way is the right way to hold them. So I'm gonna hold them like this. I believe I see eyes. Okay, I like the colors. I love it. And I like the contact points. I like the way it's shaped. I'm familiar with destruction. This is nothing but dynamite belly L. I like Nemesis and the gravity armor. Let me check it out. I think I said it wrong. The gravity ring, let's get it right. It's G04. I'm not familiar with this one. Okay. The performance tip or the tip armor. The armor tip, I do not know the technical name for this. I looked it up, researched it, couldn't find it. But I do know that the performance tip is needle, needle Q, quad drive, I believe. And the disc is Sequex. Sequest, I believe that's the name of it. Has some weight on it. All right, let's get this scale. Started Sequest 25.47 grams. The armor tip 2.10 grams. Gravity ring 1.53 grams. Let's take the chip off. 4.88 grams and let's go with stone let's do that again stone 5.5453 52 you get the picture let's do the whole bay Forty-four point ninety-one grams and i believe i missed one thing Let's go to driver with the performance tip. I think I missed that. We want to cover everything. 7.53 grams. All right. Now, like I said, my favorite thing to do is checking the slopes. And Nemesis starts out feeling uh Okay, not satisfying. Let's take the armor tip off because what I notice is it's a different connection sometimes with the armor tip off. Take note of take note of that, guys. There is a different connection from time to time with the armor tip off. And I'm gonna point out another thing. So if you look at it closely, once you guys have these, you can actually see the spring that's inside. It's a very large spring. Okay, let's do some test battles. We're gonna start with Stone Nemesis with the armor tip. And we're using the DB Stadium because Quad Drive is supposedly the Western version of Dynamite Battle. Should it be compatible? It should, but I highly doubt it. Tommy and Hasbro are nothing alike most of the time. So this is Destruction Eiffel Tour with kick. Nice. Takes the center. And it's similar to the, the Takar Tommy kick performance. Armor tips off. Nemesis. with needle. 
pretty cool. Destruction Eiffator with salt. I'm impressed. That's nice. I like how it sounds. Who do you guys believe going to burst first? We're going with the armor tips all. Nice movement. Destruction Eiffel Tur was utilizing the second layer. Let's do one more with the armor tips off. Again, with the armor tips off, Nemesis will not stay on the launcher. Stone takes it. No movement. In the slopes department, the armor tips on. Wow. Destruction Eiffator. I think I said it right. It took me a long time to get it out. Destruction back in first. Stone. Mm. All right. I think you guys deserve one more. One more. We're going to go over my opinion, the slopes, and I think I forgot the QR codes. Stone. Destruction. All right. So, Destruction Eiffel takes the last battle. All right. My opinion. My opinion at the end of the day, I do like this dual pack better than the first one that I unboxed. And that's Magma Rock Devour and Gilded Baldivar. The slopes seem to be a little better than the first two. And we're going to do one thing. Stone Nemesis is not as good as Destruction Eiffator. But I've been noticing when you take the armor tip off, the connection may change. So let's see if that's the case here. Yes, it is. So with the armor tip, it doesn't feel like this. This is a way better connection. Now, let's do the same for Destruction Eiffel Tour. Is the connection better? Oh, yes. Oh. Now, this is a great connection. This is a great connection. I don't care what nobody else says. My, the one that I'm holding in my hand, this connection is pretty darn good. All right. Now, I'm going to switch them. I'm going to try... The, the assault and kick attachment with stone. Ooh. Nice. Nice. All right. I'm liking this. This is better. This is what I'm talking about. Resistance. And with the armor tip off, my goodness. Okay. So, wow. So, assault, the armor tip, kick. On Stone Nemesis, yes. It's awesome. Now, let me do one last thing before I go. I know you guys probably already got them from another tuber or off of Beyblade Wiki. But here we go. 
QR codes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You got it. You got it. Over here, over there. You got it. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Don't forget to make them burst. And with that, we out.